I have a short chest opening, back strengthening flow for you. Come on to the quadruped on all fours. Tuck your toes under and set your wrists right underneath your shoulders. Walk your knees in a little closer to your wrists so that instead of being right under your hip points, they're just a little bit more forward to provide you with more stability. With that stability, pull in the muscles of the core and allow yourself to really lengthen through the spine, lifting through the back of the head. We'll take the right arm and lift the skull into that arm. Then take your elbow toward your other elbow and we'll take some opening and closing actions to open up the fascia around the chest wall and starting to secure the scapula on the left side onto your back. Really lock that in here. Last time, open up and set your hand down. We'll come onto the knees, compact the pelvis, and slide the left foot forward. Looking for that neutral pelvis and checking in to bring the skull back in line with the spine. Inhale the arms up, and then as you exhale, draw them into the goalpost. Really feel the scapula on the back. And begin to rotate around the spine, both directions. One more each side. And we'll end up on the right side. Slide the left hand onto the thigh, and we'll pivot on the right knee, coming into gate pose. Take your hand and get that feedback of your pelvis being in that neutral position and then arc the right arm over. Right glute is on. Let the ear drop and enjoy this really nice opening. At the same time, you're pressing down with the left hand to find that length through the right side. Right arm swings down, plant the left hand, finding quadruped on this side. With your toes tucked under for stability, slide the right foot out and open to the right, locking that scapula in again on the left side. Begin to bend at the elbow, tucking and threading that right arm through. Each time you open up at the top, really turn the glutes on. And let that chest wall open. Last time, we'll hold at the top, locking in the scapula, opening the chest, ear can drop. One more breath, press down and keep the scapula locking in. Plant the right hand, bring the knee back together and we'll pivot back to the front for the second side. So lock in the scapula, right your left hand to the back of the, the skull, lifting up through the throat and then elbow to elbow as you keep your elbow locked out so that you can lock in the scapula. Feeling a lot of action through the deep abdominals here. Last time, I will plant the hand, come up, compact the pelvis, right foot steps forward, hands come up. The head is back in line, and we'll rotate with those goal post arms for our second side. One more time, each side, holding to the left, slide the right arm, pin it on the left knee, coming over, left glute is on, really stable pelvis here, and elbow can be pressing, or forearm can be pressing down to lengthen upward. Ear toward shoulder, sweep the hands down to the floor, finding your quadruped here, left leg slides out, left arm opens, lock in the right scapula, and we'll slide it through, threading the needle, as little or as much as feels good to you. One more time and we'll hold at the top, locking in that scapula, turning on the glutes, and opening the chest wall. Strong back, open heart. Come back to your quadruped and take it down dog. Pedal up the feet, lifting through the pelvis, keeping weight in the hands. 